Hello guys, welcome to Jhook and in third part of this Kubernetes series, we are going to see the installation of a Kubernetes using KubeSpray. Uh, along with this hands-on session, I'll be sharing you a guide. You can find the link of that guide into the description section. So we will be doing the hands-on installation following that guide and I have composed around 12 steps uh, of my own and I hope it would be pretty easy steps for you also. And if you haven't followed my previous tutorial, so where, where I have shown the Kubernetes install installation on Ubuntu as well as on CentOS but this installation is going to be very straightforward because we are using KubeSpray and that is a kind of an automation where you can do the automation of Kubernetes installation. Moving to the first step uh, we need to provision the VMs and uh, for the VMs we are going to use the three one for Ansible, one for master and one for worker node. So as you can see the configuration which we are going to use is the two CPU, two GB memory for each VM and uh, for Ansible, for master and as well as worker. And you can see the same thing over here into the Vagrant configuration file. So now we are having three configuration, one for Ansible master, one for Kubernetes, that is K master and uh, K worker for Kubernetes worker. And each machine is having two gigs of uh, memory and two CPUs and the IP address are also the similar in the same range like uh, uh, 100.0.0.1, 2 and 3. So this is our simple basic Vagrant setup for this KubeSpray installation and all the uh, scripting and automation or the Ansible provisioning part we are going to perform from the Ansible master that is a master. So everything we are going to perform from a master first and then we will jump uh, to the K master as well as K worker uh, later on. Okay, as a step number one, we need to start our Vagrant box. And if you see over here, there is a Vagrant file and we can view the Vagrant file before starting the Vagrant box and same. It's the same Vagrant file which I just showed you in the article or in the guide. Uh, so it's pretty much same. And don't forget to uh, check the link of the guide in the description section. I'll posting you the same link which I'm going to use uh, in this session. Okay, so let's move ahead. And here I need to start the Vagrant. So the command is Vagrant up. And this is the first time I'm going to install. So it might take a little time. And I'm going to do the uh, installation on uh, HashiCorp Bionic 64, that is Ubuntu. So I'm using Ubuntu uh, for CubeSpray installation. Okay, so now our Vagrant is up. And let's jump to the next step. So moving to the second step, we need to update the etc host file for uh, all our nodes and that is master, Ansible master, Kubernetes master and worker. So here are the three entries which we need to make on all the three nodes. Uh, so I'll copy this command. I'll clear the screen over here. Uh, before that, we need to log in into our Vagrant boxes. So what we need to do is Vagrant SSH uh, a master here I am going to log in into our Kubernetes master so that for Vagrant SSH K master that is Kubernetes master and the third one is Vagrant SSH K worker. All right, I'll clear screen here a bit so that it's pretty much easy to see. Okay, so now we are having three terminal, one with Ansible master, one with Kubernetes master, and one with the K worker. So all the three nodes are up and running, uh, th three VMs are up and running, and now we need to edit the etc host file. So for that, what we copied the command is, sorry, this is not the command, uh, sudo vi, then we need to go into the etc and hosts. Okay. So here we need to make an entry and the entry is like this. So you need to copy, you pretty much copy this command from here and you can go he here and go into the edit mode, insert and paste it over here. Okay, that's done. Now we can save this. Uh, same we need to perform on the Kubernetes master so that you can copy uh, or you can just write this command etc hosts okay and go into the insert mode and paste the same thing over here 
save and quit and then again to the k worker so sudo vi etc and then host and go into the edit mode shift insert okay all right that's being done i'll clear the screen here okay so now we have made the entry for all the three vms now we can verify whether our etc host update is working or not so what we can do is we can ping the other machine so let's ping k master from here uh, that is k master ah yeah it's working fine and same we can do from here also so we can ping anything so a master also ping so that's working so that means it's also working fine i can ping uh, k master from here okay let's see how it goes yep so it's working okay so etc host update has gone successful let's jump to the next step moving to the step number third we need to generate the ssh keys and just to give you the brief why we need the ssh key is because uh, we don't need to uh, we need to run the ansible from our a master that is uh, ansible master uh, vm and uh, for that we need to uh, connect to Kubernetes master as well as K worker, uh, Kubernetes worker. So we every time our Ansible is going to run on these two nodes, these two VMs, uh, it need, it will ask for the password. And if we generate the SSH keys, then we don't need to provide password each and every time. So it will just save the time of us for entering the password each and every time whenever we are running the Ansible scripts. Okay, so how we can do that is, we need to generate the SSH keys for that one. And that you can do is uh, you need to copy this command SSH keygen TRSA. You can copy it and you need to run it on Ansible master. Uh, enter the file, uh, you can skip it and password you can keep it empty or you want to keep then you can insert the password. That's not a problem. Okay, so SSH key has been generated. Now moving to the step number four, what we need to do is we need to copy the SSH key of Ansible master to K master as well as K worker because these are the two VMs which we need to in which we need to log in. So what we need to do is we need to copy that SSH key to K master and K worker. And remember we generated SSH key for Ansible master. Okay, so what we need to do over there is we need to run this command SSH copy ID and this is the IP address if you remember in the Vagrant file this is the IP address for K master. Okay, and we need to run this command on Ansible master. Okay, so this is our Ansible master and I'm going to paste that command over here and then it will are you sure you want to continue connecting say yes. And What's the Vagrant password? And that is Vagrant. The default password is Vagrant. So now the SSH key of Ansible master has been added to K master. So whenever you're trying to log in from A master into the K master, that is from Ansible master to Kubernetes master, then you don't need to provide the password. The same thing we are going to do for the K worker also. So I'll use the same command and I'll change the IP address that is three. Okay, yes, I want to connect. Yes, I'll say yes. And the password is Vagrant. Okay, that's done. So we have generated the key. We have added the keys to K master as well as K worker of Ansible master. Let's move to the step number five. Uh, it is the same description which I have put over here. So you can follow along the same thing over here if you want to. Uh, if you forget anything all right so step number five install python 3 pipe so why do we need inst uh, python 3 pipe because ansible runs and uh, for running the ansible playbooks we need python 3 that needs to be installed on our uh, ansible master node so for that what we need to do is first we need to update uh, our uh, registry so we can use this command sudo apt get update on ansible master remember we are going to run this one command on ansible master i'll clear the screen and i'll insert and update okay always remember i am running this command on ansible master not on kubernetes master that is k master or k worker all right that's done i'll clear the screen and what's next now we need to install our python 3 pipe 
I'll copy the command and I'll paste it over here. Yes. Uh, it's a 182 MB, so it might take a couple of minutes or minute based on your internet speed. Okay, so Python pip has been installed. Let's move to the next step. Before moving to the next step, let's verify the version of a Python which we have installed. And for that, you can use the command Python v. That will give you the version so that you are sure you have installed the Python correctly. So yeah, we have installed the Python. Next thing we need to install, uh, we need to check the pip. And for that, the command is this. So I'm going to use the command. And yeah, we have installed the pip also. So that's done. Let's move to the next step. Moving to the step number six, uh, the thing which we need to do over here is we need to clone the coop spray git repo from the git repository. And for that, the command is git clone. Uh, I, I hope you are familiar with the git. Uh, so I'll clear the screen over here. And remember, I'm running this on Ansible master. So just read these instructions here that needs to be run on a master that means ansible master so i'll copy this command git clone and paste it in our a master that is ansible master and it is going to clone the git repo of coop spray okay that's done so what's the next step is we need to install coop spray package from requirement.txt so once we uh, clone this uh, uh, git repo of coop spray then you can see the content what has been cloned so there is a coop spray directory which has created so change to coop spray directory or move to coop spray directory and then hit the ls command and here just you will see the requirement.txt so that that's the file comes with the coop spray git clone and now we need to install the coop spray so what we need to do is we need to follow the command uh, sudo pip3 install our requirement.txt so pip3 we have already installed requirement talks re requirements.txt which we got from cloning the git repo of coop spray and now we need to copy this command and paste it over here it might take a time because uh, there are a lot of package which is going to uh, be installed uh, behind the scene so just wait for a while uh, till the installation completes Okay, so that has been installed. Uh, let's jump to the next step. Moving to the step number eight. Uh, previously, you can see these all are the logs, which you'll see similar logs in when you install the requirement.txt. Okay, so step number eight, we need to copy inventory file to current user. And for that, we need to copy uh, this sample uh, to the inventory my cluster. So all this directory has been created once we clone the coop spray uh, repository so you just need to copy this command from this guide and just paste it into our ansible master remember everything i'm running on ansible master i'll clear this screen here and then i'll just do the copy okay that's done so what's the next step uh, next step is prepare the host.yml for coop spray and for that we need to do certain step uh, we because we need to specify yeah we are going to use kubernetes master and kubernetes worker for the uh, installation so for that we, we are going to declare a variable that is ips and where we are going to store the ip address of this ip address is of kubernetes master that is k master if you remember in the vagrant file which we have put and this ip address is for uh, k worker that is kubernetes worker so copy this command this is a variable and paste it over here done next thing we need to do is uh, we need to uh, define the con one more variable that is the config file and that you can do over here is this so let me explain this uh, command we are going to prepare the host.yml file uh, which ansible is going to use uh, using python 3 and this is a little uh, uh, Linux scripting part over here. So we are going to prepare the host file and this Python 3 utility which we are using, what it is doing is it is just using this IPS uh, variable which we have created and putting it into this host.yml so that we have our host.yml ready and the Ansible can use that host.yml provisioning or running the Kubernetes installation. 
okay that's done now we can see the host.yml also like how the host.yml look like and uh, for, before that uh, yeah no there's nothing but uh, uh, we can look so we can just copy this vi command or you can use the cat command also and see the content so here we are having the ip address of kubernetes master that is 100.0.0.2 and the kubernetes worker that is 100.0.0.3 okay so that was the last command which we used to generate the host.yml okay so let's move to the next step moving to the next step uh, here you can see i have paste the content of host.yml so it's the same content which we have seen on uh, uh, ansible master node uh, and that's pretty much same okay so moving to the step number 10 what we need to do is we need to run the ansible playbook on ansible master remember everything which we are doing we are doing on ansible master because that is our provisioning server and that is our ansible server for running the ansible scripts so now we are ready with everything and now we need to run the ansible playbook and the command for that is ansible playbook inventory my cluster host so just copy this command and paste it over here Uh, this is the ansible playbook and uh, it will generate lots of log and if you encounter any issue then you will see uh, during this uh, in this window uh, it might take a time so i'll speed up this section and when it's complete so we'll resume from there all right so now our ansible playbook has finished so it always takes a lot of time so be patient with the ansible playbook and uh, let's move to the step number 11 on step number 11 uh, we need to install kubectl on kubernetes master so everything till that step number 10 we were doing on ansible master so now we need to switch to k master so i'll drag on the left hand side and here okay, you can see this is our master kubernetes master and this is our k worker so we will be running our steps over here in the k master so what we need to do is we need to install kubectl so for that we need to uh, use this command and uh, what it will do is it will just download the kubectl package just wait for uh, the download to complete okay it's complete now now next thing we need to do is we need to copy the admin config to the dot cube directory so uh, let's copy that command and uh, that admin.com file and the command is over here that's done second thing uh, we need to create the cube directory okay that's been done and then we need to move this config file to the dot cube directory that that we created right now that's been done and now we need to change the honor so uh, we need to change the honor to the current user so that's what we are doing over here okay that's been done now after that we need to verify the kubectl version that it has installed successfully or not so for that we are going to use this command uh, i'll clear the screen a bit and the version so yeah we are able to install the kubectl let's move to the next step so the step number 12 is we need to verify the kubernetes node and for that we need to use the command kubectl.get nodes so that will tell you like whatever steps we have done the all 11 steps we have done for uh, uh, installing the kubernetes using kubespray is proper or not so we can use this command get nodes over here and see okay so here you can see uh, our two nodes are working node 1 and node 2 and both are running fine so that means our uh, kubernetes has been installed successfully on both our uh, master and worker node and both are uh, able to uh, connect properly that we can see over here so the this is the last step uh, for our Kubernetes installation using Kubespray. 
I hope you enjoyed the today's session on installing Kubernetes using KubeSpray and Ansible. And if you have faced any issue during the installation, then please put down into the comment section below. I'll get back to you with the resolution. And I hope you like the today's hands-on session. And if you want something similar content, then please put also put down into the comment section and I'll get back to you. And if you want to, to see the similar installation on CentOS and Ubuntu, then please follow my channel. Uh, there are previous uh, videos which I have done uh, on the same installation so you can follow along those also and don't forget to check the uh, link of this guide which I have posted into the description section so where you have all the 12 steps which you can follow for installing uh, Kubernetes okay thank you and thanks for your time bye bye